So for today's run, I thought instead of doing what I usually do, which is run down this beautiful wooded path, it's covered, you commune with nature somewhat. Instead, I thought I would embrace cold, hard commercialism. <laughs> By that, I mean I'm going to run to my local pizza place and the pizza there. Now, it's about two miles away, which is a bit about the same distance I ran yesterday. So this should all work out. And I'm planning to meet my mom there, and we'll have pizza, and then she'll drive me back home because uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be too tired to walk back. But I think this will be fun. It'll be different, a little bit more dangerous, probably going to see more people. Also, cars will be around, and that's, that's going to be a new thing I'm going to have to deal with. Also, I'm standing in grass right now, and there are itchy bugs all over the place. So I live in Houston, and very famously, uh, we don't really have sidewalks here in the suburbs, which is fun, you know, because when you're walking, it's nice to know that you very actively and very hostily <laughs> defying the architecture of a place. I am not meant to be doing this, and in some ways, that feels freeing. You know, cyberpunk stuff is always about, like, big cities and the inhumanity of big cities, but I live in a suburb surrounded by trees, and in a way, this is actively and hostily designed against you as a human moving around it. You're only really supposed to see the nice pretty trees through the shutters in your house, and that's it. But then again, people walk around here all the time. They just are at greater risk of being hit by cars because they don't have a place for themselves. The sidewalks do eventually exist. Like one of the things that really bugs me about living in a suburb is everything is so far away. Like to get anywhere, like th this place I'm going to is the closest restaurant to me. And that is two miles away. I can't realistically walk to anything. Like I'm doing it now, but this is not realistic. If I want to do anything, anything, it's like 40 minutes to get to downtown from where I live. If I want to live my life where I just spend all day inside in my office, the suburbs makes that very easy to do. And I do do that a lot. But if I want to like go out and see friends, go out, do anything, my life will be spent primarily driving in a car. And that bugs me to no end. Now, you know, the thing with the sidewalks in the suburbs. I don't know if the solution to the world is to dump more and more concrete everywhere. I don't know if that's necessarily the best solution because concrete makes everything hot and I kind of also hate concrete. I don't have solutions. I don't know fixes. I just know things I'm mad about and irritate me. I do have to say, one nice thing about living in the suburbs that I really like is that, at least where I live, there's a lot of trees. We like growing a lot of trees around. So that means here, it's noticeably cooler than in the rest of the city. Like whenever I go out into greater Houston, the thing I always notice is it feels so much hotter than it does here. And the reason for that is we have all this lovely shade. And I really appreciate that. I'm now very thrilled with doing this to come across these signs because I mean, I can take a break. Not being lazy, just getting to take a break because otherwise I'd be hit by a car. So I'm halfway through this and I may have got the exact mileage wrong. It might be a little bit less than two, but it's going strong. I'm so I'm officially halfway through this. Now I may have got the exact mileage wrong. It might be a little bit less than two. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to run less today. Oh no, darn it. Yeah, so I definitely miscalculated the distance. It's probably more about a mile point five away, which isn't that much better, but I guess it's a little bit better. By the way, I've definitely started to notice I'm in better shape. I've been able to maintain longer periods of like running without getting so tired. My legs aren't trying to murder me anymore and my breathing is a lot easier. Also, my clothes have started to fit better, which is a nice feeling. Like the shirt I was wearing now, was actually a tiny bit tight on me when I started, but now this feels pretty loose and comfortable after about a week. So I think this has generally been improving my life, which is a good feeling. As I was running, I heard a, a loud shut up from what sounded like to be a very angry gentleman. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't about me, but I didn't want to stick around to find out. 
Well, no more paved sidewalks for a minute. We are in the home stretch. The pizza place is just past these trees and this honestly kind of scary ledge. And I mean, me specifically. I know other people can run through Houston pretty easily, but me being a soft boy, and I mean me specifically, I'm a soft computer bound boy. I, I'm not used to running in the heat. Also, I'm pale as a ghost. You know, doing these runs in kind of a covered wooded area disorients you to how far you can go. Because I thought this would be like this big intense run and I would be super tired by the end of it. I'm fine, I'm fine. This was actually quite an easy run for me compared to like something like yesterday where I ran two miles. This was super simple. I probably could eat here and run back if I had thought about it. Yeah, I made it. So my time today was 49 minutes and seven seconds for 1.62 miles. Yes. Also, my mom brought a change of shirts. 